Dr. Oz goes red for women's health with the ultimate guide to heart health. It's been my mission for six years to convince you that the cure for heart disease is in your hands. Five quick questions to determine your risk. Five surprising habits that can prevent most heart attacks. Plus, would you know the warning signs that you're aging on the inside? Ways to help prevent you from aging faster than you should. Coming up next on Dr. Oz. Look at all this red! Oh my goodness! We're all in red today. You know why? Because our nation is in the midst of a woman's health crisis, and today we all come together to recognize it with National Wear Red Day. My entire audience and I, if you have not noticed, are wearing red to support a cause that's literally close to my heart. Heart disease. It's the number one killer of women. Now, it's been my mission for six years to convince you that the cure for heart disease is in your hands. And today, new developments make this even more clear. And it all starts with a little quiz. So I'm going to ask a series of questions. I want everyone in the audience to stand up if for every question that applies to you. And I want you to keep standing. And people at home, just keep track of these things until the end. There's a couple of simple questions that assess how much you're controlling of your heart health. First question. I want you to stand up if you get less than 20 minutes of moderate to vigorous exercise a day. Anything from walking fast to greater. Good. A couple of honest people up there. Secondly, do you drink more than one serving of alcohol a day? People may not recognize you. Keep standing if you're already standing. Keep standing. Third, stand up if you watch an hour or more of TV per day. I thought that would get you. I thought that would get you. Please stand up if you're overweight, if, you, if in your opinion you have more weight than you should have. No, keep standing. Where are you going? You keep, once you stand, you keep standing. I'm, yeah, these are all individual risk factors. That's why I'm saying you don't have to have all of them. Frankly, one of them is enough to, for me to get concerned. And finally, stand up if your diet contains a lot of red meat, processed foods, or refined sugars. I look around, and virtually everybody is standing, which is, in fact, what's happening in America today. Why is this so important? Because no matter your age, your shape, your size, everybody standing is at risk for a heart attack. The study is the first of its kind, in size and in scope. 20 years, 70,000 women, revealing in detail how the habits you develop in your 20s and 30s directly affect the health of your heart and your risk for a heart attack. But what makes this study revolutionary? For the first time, we now know you can stop heart disease earlier than ever before. The study found that women who followed specific heart healthy habits incredibly had a 92% lower risk for heart disease. Today, the surprising findings that can dramatically decrease your odds for a heart attack. What makes it such a groundbreaking study is that these new findings mean the number one killer of women can, in many cases, be virtually eliminated. Stop, we can stop the stuff before it even starts. Now, it's all about small steps that we're going to be taking together today. We're going to start right now. First risk factor which we talked about was getting less than 20 minutes of exercise per day. The healthy heart habit is to sneak in short power workouts every day. Now, I get it. Finding 20 minutes seems like it's pretty hard. So I asked you, the viewer, I asked you guys, how do you find 20 minutes every day to exercise? Being a mom of five, one of the ways I squeeze my workout in is by parking at the very last spot at the supermarket so that I can get in my cardio. Not only do I get in a little cardio, but I also get in some weight training with my grocery bags. The only way for me to squeeze in a power workout is to double it up with playtime. One, two. How adorable is that? I love your ideas. I also saw a video, I just couldn't pass it up, it was on YouTube. This guy found a way to make his workout a lot of fun. I mean, how cool is that, guys? The dancing back like this. Any little activity, frankly, fidgeting, just 20 minutes of movement of any kind every day is all you need to say goodbye to your risk for a heart attack in that category. So it's not that hard, we can do it. Second risk factor we talked about was drinking more than a serving of alcohol per day. Now here's how the healthy heart habit works. You can turn your one glass of wine into four. Now I borrowed this from my Total 10 Rapid Weight Loss Plan. One of my favorite tricks, you can use it all the time. So you take your wine, you divide it up into four equal amounts, and you're gonna like the way this tastes, 
All you gotta do is add seltzer water. So obviously you're cutting the calories down dramatically with this. With the club soda, you get the little fizzy that you want. Put as much in or as little as you want in a day. We can do different amounts. But a lot of wine and other alcohol is about touching the glass, it's tactile, it's putting it to your lips, just allowing you to enjoy the moment. So I made you guys some drinks. Who wants to go? You guys wanna go first? Are you all, you all over 18, right? <laughs> yeah. Or is it 21 now? I can't remember. <laughs> Thank you. There you are. Now taste that. Enjoy it, savor it. I could probably con you into doing that once in a while. So if you really want to drink all night long, start off this way anyway, and that'll have a lot of side benefits in addition to avoid the hedonistic behavior that goes along with too much of alcohol. Okay, mm -hmm. taste reasonable? Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, be honest. Love it. We have a love it even. All right, thank you very much, enjoy it. Now, there's another risk factor which is watching more than an hour of more on TV a day and the healthy heart habit here is to stand during the commercial breaks. I'm not taking away your TV. I'm not, I, I don't want you giving it up because a lot of folks love TV for very good reasons. That's why you watch the show. But the risk factor has much less to do with what you're watching than the fact that you're sedentary. When we're all sitting like this, which we do all the time at work and at home, it change our hormones, we change our ability to live to our fullest. So hide your remote control. Remember those days when you didn't have the remote control? You had to change the channel yourself. Give yourself excuses to get up and during the commercial break, I want you to squeeze in one of those power workouts that we just saw that you guys are already offering me as thoughts. You can balance the baby, dance on your treadmill, do some things, small things you can do on the couch, but get off off the couch. All right, next risk factor has to do with food mistakes. We all know by now that you have to get processed foods and refined sugars out of your diet. The Total 10 plan addresses that head on. But this new study says something else. It says another big culprit for heart health is actually red meat. So let me ask you guys, I want some real answers here. Who loves a juicy hamburger? Something really, oh, what do you like about it? All the juice is still in the meat, and then when you bite it, it just drips all over your oh, lip. Isn't it the best? Oh. Awesome. And how about the cheese on there, maybe? The toppings? Yes, delicious. Delicious? Yes. How, how about the bread? It's the best part. Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> it's really it? awesome. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about this. I know how delectable it is, and we used to think it was all about uh, the, the, you know, the, the fat and the protein and the carbs and that, you put it all together, it becomes a big issue for us because it's not the protein, everybody. I want the protein actually in the burger. It's the fat that I'm worried about. So we can find options that work. Leaner cuts are an example. And I'm gonna explain to you why this is such a big issue for me. So you have too much fat in your diet, it gives rise to this. You see the plaque in there? Your vessel is supposed to look like this, nice and pristine and open. But when you have a lot of fat, it turns to this. And this material that's in here, this sort of sludgy stuff, you know, it's sort of goopy and oh, oh, who wants that in the arteries, right? And with this stuff in there, it begins to block and it looks even larger, it literally grows up and begins to fill more and more of the artery and the blood can't get through these arteries. These are cross sections of the arteries on top of the heart. Imagine I took a big artery, like a big tube carrying blood to your heart and I just chopped it through the side to see what's inside. When you don't have enough blood getting through there, your heart struggles and the result is a heart attack. If you eat the right food, not only do you avoid all this ugh, crud that's on there, you avoid this stuff, but the artery itself, it dilates up. It gets to be a lot bigger. And because it's so much bigger like this, you end up with a lot more room. Just compare these two together. The plaque one here, it's got all that junk in there. So this nice, not only does it avoid the plaque, but the artery itself got a lot larger. Now, you can do this with the help of our next healthy heart habit, which is to follow the 80-20 rule. If you want to avoid this stuff inside of your body, I want 80% of your plate to be filled with fruits and vegetables and whole grains like this, simple to do. And I want 20% of your plate to be full of lean protein. So I don't want the burger quite the way we described it anyway. I don't want it juicing up, but chicken and turkey and fish, frankly even pork, things like that can make sense because there's not fat in there. Finally, the last risk factor is smoking. And I think by this time we all know that it's the single worst habit you can have for your health period. But I want to figure out new ways of getting you guys to think differently about this. Stop blaming yourself. This is not about pointing fingers. It's about getting you to think differently about your role. So take a look at this PSA that, in my opinion, really hits home. It says it all. I, Amanda Green, at the point of my life when I'm not a kid anymore, now that I finally have freedom to define who I am, I hereby agree to be bound to you, to let you decide how I spend my money, to let you set my boundaries and to come running the instant you snap your fingers. With this contract, I relinquish part of my freedom to you. There's a contract in every cigarette. When you light up, you sign up. Don't let tobacco control you. So if you need help quitting, we have all the resources you need along with all my healthy heart habits on DrOz.com. Take advantage of it. Folks, listen, the power to end heart disease and cut your risk for heart attacks 
is by, you know, almost 100%, frankly, to almost completely remove the risk factors. It's all in your hands. You control your health. You control your destiny. So let's start right now. I want everyone in the audience right now, and everyone at home right now, just stand up because we are going to commercial. Let's practice what we preach. So a little move like that makes a big difference. We'll be right back. Next, can you spot the red flags that you're aging on the inside? Learn how to recognize the warning signs on the outside that could prevent risks for stroke and heart disease. Easy test to determine if you're aging faster than you should. Go Red Day continues. It promises to help you lose weight fast, but are water pills just draining your wallet? Dr. Oz investigates. It's a dirty little secret. Millions of women use them, but are they safe? Plus, tennis star Monica Seles. I would just feel terrible about myself. The binge eating disorder that nearly destroyed her health and her career. Was there a binge bottom? All new Oz. That's coming up on Monday. Aging can go much deeper than superficial age spots and wrinkles. Here's the question. Would you know the warning signs that you're aging on the inside? And since today's all about the color red, I've got the red flags to help prevent you from aging faster than you should. The first red flag that you're aging too fast affects your brain health. And to determine that, we're all going to do the one-legged stance test. It predicts, well, I think anyway, its results may predict your brain health and better yet, your risk for a stroke. So April's gonna join me, and everyone at home can do this test as well. How are you, April? Hi, Dr. Oz, oh my goodness. You look amazing in red. Well, you look amazing in red too. <laughs> I you. appreciate it, April. Thank you. All right, so, testing for your brain. Have you had any, have any done it all in any capacity? No, no balance test. Now, I've danced a little, one-legged yeah. dance, but that's about it. Show me the one-legged dance. What does that look like? Oh, while you're dancing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's part of the test. Here's the thing. We actually want to figure out with this one-legged stance test what can do, what the brain can at least keep up with, with your body. Mm -hmm. If your body and your brain are working together, you'll be able to do it pretty easily. Now, the problem is a lot of us don't focus. We trip. We fall. This is something we can actually practice. But if we do it the right way, it tests our brain and whether our brain is truly healthy. So, audience members, who wants to participate with this little brain little test of mine? Tell you what, the front row, come on down here if you don't mind. Step up there. Gather around. I want to see how good you are at your balance. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready. I want everyone to stand up and lift one leg. Take either leg. People are falling already. Oh my goodness. Right. This is... Okay. Oh. All right. You got 20 <laughs> seconds. You guys are doing pretty well back there. All right. Now what this does is test the ability of the back of the brain okay. to coordinate the rest of the body. And if you can do it, you guys are doing pretty well. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Uh, now, of course, if you're falling immediately, it's a problem, but okay. you can dance, you can do anything you want. After 20 seconds, we're about there. You guys can relax. I'm very proud of you all. <laughs> you all did it so well. So the researchers showed that with 20 seconds of balance, your brain is doing okay. But if you can't do those 20 seconds, there's a concern that the back of your brain has little blood vessels. Maybe those blood vessels aren't as healthy as they should be. And one of the first ways we'll figure it out is we'll begin to lose our balance, which, of course, becomes an increasingly bigger problem as we get older because our arteries get less flexible. You guys did great. Have a seat. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks very much, April. All right. The next red flag that you're aging too fast can present itself in the morning. It's chapped lips. They can be a red flag alerting you of sleep apnea. So take a look at Lindsay and see if you can relate. It's the winter season, and every time this happens, my lips get so chapped. They're dry, flaky. My lips are still really chapped, and they hurt so bad that they're cracking. I woke up with these chap lips. They're actually peeling and extremely white and dry. Lizzie's joining us in person. And so what have you equated your morning chap lips to in the past? Well, every winter this happens. My lips get really chapped, dry, painful, peeling even. Um, I always just thought it was because I keep my heat at like 80 degrees in my apartment. Well, that dinner. would do it also. <laughs> uh, may I ask, do you sleep alone? I do not sleep alone. I actually sleep with my boyfriend. That's a good answer. You, <laughs> you wonder why I'm asking? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about snoring. It's figuring out what's going on while you're asleep. Does he ever mention snoring to you? He has said on a couple occasions that I snore, but he always snores more and louder. So. Yeah, it's always the case. The <laughs> rest of your life, it'll be like that. So I want to show you something. This is, a, I think, an idea that we should all keep in mind. The question is, of course, why is it that chap lips are a red flag? And they are a red flag because they warn us of sleep apnea. So come on back here. All right. So we actually caught you mid-snore. 
Okay, I know it's not a flattering picture. I apologize for that, all right? So when you snore, your mouth is open, and then the air goes back and forth because you're breathing through your mouth. And notice your lips, how they get chapped, and they get little cracks in there. Yes. That flow of breath, which happens all night long, desiccates, dries out those lips. Okay. And with sleep apnea, you're not breathing through your nose. You're gasping for air through your mouth. Mm -hmm. So snorers should be attentive to this as well. It's one of the reasons it's a red flag. Okay. Now, the question is, how do you slow down sleep apnea? And I know it's a big problem, and you may not have it, but you know, since snoring is a risk factor for it, or at least a warning sign of it, one of the things you can do is be active. Because when you exercise, 20 minutes a day of activity seems to reduce sleep apnea. Okay. What do you Thank think? You. I think I might have to try that. What kind of activity are we gonna do? Um, probably just the treadmill, nothing too fancy. Simple stuff? You're gonna exactly. dance on the treadmill like that guy did earlier? I think I would fall. I would probably fall too. Just do regular stuff. Right, thank Thanks. you very much. All right, the next red flag that you're aging too fast will present itself in your eyes. Bloodshot eyes can be a red flag that you're developing arthritis. Now, before the show, I give everyone in the audience a mirror. Please take out your mirrors. Thank you very much. Please take out your mirrors. And I want you to look into the whites of your eyes. The whites of your eyes. Are they showing any red? Who has red in their eyes? We got a couple. We have a couple people. You got reds here? A little bit. Let me see there. Up, oh, yep, there, look at that camera right there. There we are, we can barely see it, it's so hard to see. I don't know, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. You know what, let me show you a picture of red eyes. Put the picture up so you can see what they're looking for. See the red eyes? That's, I'm looking at that kind of red. So who's got that kind of red? Let me see, is you are? No, you're, you're doing okay. Should we show hands, reds? Oh, here we are, now we're talking. All right, <laughs> now look at that camera right over there. And stick, there we are. Now, if you notice, you've got a little redness around your eyes. Is it often red? Uh, sometimes. What brings it on? Uh, tiredness. Yeah, tiredness. Especially is... after work. Yes. Well, there are other things that can cause it as well. You ever have joint pains at all? No. Good. Because a lot of times, folks that have joint pains have inflammation in their joints, the smaller joints, your hands and your feet. And this chronic inflammation also can be present in other parts of your body, including the delicate lining of your eyes. So one of the signs we look for in people who have arthritis, especially if it's autoimmune arthritis, like rheumatoid arthritis, oh, wow. is whether they have lots of red in their eyes. Now, yours isn't too bad, but I do see it. Yes. And if you did start to develop joint pains, I'd be thinking about it. Okay. All right? Yes. I like your red. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put one more bonus test on DrOz.com. It's a red flag that has to do with your smell. We'll be right back. Our red theme continues with the new red superfoods that are perfect for heart health, packed with powerful antioxidants. These natural anti-agers can reduce cancer risks, lower blood pressure, and boost immunity. The new red superfoods, next. It promises to help you lose weight fast, but are water pills just draining your wallet? Dr. Oz investigates. It's a dirty little secret. Millions of women use them, but are they safe? Plus, Tennis star Monica Seles. I would just feel terrible about myself. The binge eating disorder that nearly destroyed her health and her career. Was there a binge bottom? All new Oz. That's coming up on Monday. This February on the Dr. Oz Show. Heart disease. You have the power to beat it. Put a little love in your heart. All month long ultimate guide to heart health. The power to save your heart is in your hands. All this February on Oz. Our red theme continues with a superfood you probably have in your kitchen right now. And if you don't, you should because it's one of the best natural anti-agers you eat. But before we reveal it, Here's why this red superfood is so good for you. First off, it can help maintain healthy skin, it reduces cancer risk factors, and it builds strong bones. That's a huge trifecta of benefits. So, what is a superfood? Irsa is here, and she's gonna guess. I'm gonna give her three clues, and I want her to figure out what this is. Are you ready? Yes. Are you good at games? I am very good at games. I like your red too. Everyone's well, differently red. Well, you look fantastic in oh, red. Thank you, Israel. Okay, first clue. Are you ready? Yes. Let me get very simple to you. Number one, this superfood is a fruit. It's a fruit. Most people think it's a veg vegetable, but it's a fruit. Okay. okay? They're thinking now, they're thinking now. <laughs> Question number two, what's red and it's a fruit, although people think it's a veggie? Second clue is that it's crunchy. No. Ha, ha, ha. You thought you knew what it was. Yes. They're all thinking tomato, but That changes got, things. Most tomatoes that are good for you aren't crunchy. Right. All right, and clue number three, this is a big one, 
paprika is made from this. Isra, okay. what do you think that is? Crunchy, people think it's a fruit, and paprika is made from it. Mm, I'm going to have to say a red bell pepper. Oh, she's a smart woman. <laughs> she's a smart woman. Yeah. These bell peppers are fabulous for a bunch of reasons. Do you eat them? Do you like them? I do, yes, I love them. So I let's look at why these things are so good for you. Come on over okay. here. Be be grab that pepper. Oh. We'll, we'll need that. Let's right? take that with us. Right. For, first off, it's got tons of antioxidants in it. It also boosts your immunity. Okay. Two huge benefits. So I asked a good friend of mine, registered dietitian Sharon Richter, to join us. She says, how are you, Sharon? Great. Thank you. She says we can get a lot of benefits if we eat them raw, fresh, rather than cook them. Oh, okay. So yep. if you can, we brought this as a specimen to you. What do you think about that? This looks really good to me. It has a nice bright green stem. Not a lot of blemishes, not a lot of change in color. So it looks like it's really fresh. Nice. Do you like fresh peppers? I do. Yeah. I do cook them sometimes though. Yeah. I like them in my omelets, but um, I do like them to dip with hummus too. The reason I like them fresh is they're a little sweet. When they're like this, they're a bit crunchy. And a lot of people don't try them sweet that. I haven't given them a chance since they were little kids. You probably forced on them. Yeah. But the crunchiness of it, and it's a little bit sweet as well. Yep. What if you can't find fresh red bell peppers? What so do you do? So if you can't that? find them, some people don't even know. They actually start green, then they turn red, and they get sweeter. So if you have a green one, leave it on your countertop, and after about three or four days, it'll start getting more red and more red, and it'll get sweeter. So more people usually like it when it's sweeter. Once it's red, put it in your refrigerator for about seven to 10 days, and it really needs water. So you don't want to put it in water, but you want to put a damp paper towel in the drawer with it to keep it as fresh as possible. Then when you're ready to eat it, put it under cold water to keep all those antioxidants in it, not warm, but cold water, slice it up, and here you go. Or you can put it in your omelet. You gotta, you gotta nurture it. And, and it goes with your outfit. Yes, I much. love it. Thank right. you very much. Now, I love this next super seed because it's red and it's good for you. It's been around for thousands of years, but it was actually my daughter Daphne at the Chew who brought it to my attention for a whole new use. Hey, it's Daphne Oz. I love cooking with red pomegranate seeds. I love them raw and crunchy in salads, in grain dishes, and I also use them in rich, meaty stews that go great with chicken. They add a burst of sweetness that's delicious, and of course, they're rich in antioxidants. Happy cooking. So Daphne is absolutely right. Pomegranates pack a powerful antioxidant punch, and it's perfect for your heart health. It's good for lowering blood pressure. It improves blood flow to keep your arteries from getting stiff and thick, and one of the best ways to get this nutrition is what that being suggests. You can sprinkle the seeds on a salad whenever she comes over to the house. By the way, I don't know if you listen carefully, you can see my granddaughter yelling in the background of that little tape piece. <laughs> I like hearing her voice. She's got that little Serbian war cry. But the, uh, this, these pomegranate seeds are actually very sweet and I like it for that reason. But I tell you, one way you can get it is you can drink the juice. So you go like this. And almost immediately, look at that. You have this incredible, it looks like a smoothie, it tastes like a smoothie. You know, when you buy a bottle, it's concentrated, it's a little tart, and if you find it tart, you can add some club soda, but I love this, and I made some fresh just before the show for the audience. Go ahead and give it a try. What do you guys think? I just want thumbs, ups, and downs, and honest opinions. Would you drink it the way it is now? It's pretty good, isn't it? It's a wonderful find, very inexpensive, you can make it yourself. Guys, thank you very much, we'll be right back. Dr. Oz is bringing Healthy back. Ready to whip up one of his heart-healthy recipes? Always eat fish. It's delicious and healthy. Plus, my kids eat it, so that's a plus. But I love all your tips. We'll give these a try. Find a simple recipe for tonight's dinner on DrOz.com. Next, what's making you so red in the face? Those red bumps and flushed cheeks could be a sign of rosacea, a condition often confused for acne. Find out the surprising triggers for flare-ups and easy ways to keep it in check. Red Day on Dr. Oz continues next. It promises to help you lose weight fast, but are water pills just draining your wallet? Dr. Oz investigates. It's a dirty little secret. Millions of women use them, but are they safe? Plus, Tennis star Monica Seles. I would just feel terrible about myself. The binge eating disorder that nearly destroyed her health and her career. Was there a binge bottom? All new Oz. That's coming up on Monday. Next is happening the red on your face. And there's a condition that often goes undiagnosed to women. It's called rosacea. Today, the surprising reasons why it happens and what you can do about it. Lauren's gonna join us. She's looking for help with her rosacea. May I take a look at it? 
And how long have you had it for? For over 10 years. And how does it affect you emotionally? It's embarrassing because a lot of people always ask me, oh, you have acne and could try this. You know, they just stop me in the middle of the street like, your face is really red. And so it's embarrassing. It's kind of embarrassing. And what do you tell pictures. them when you run into them? I say it's not acne, it's rosacea. <laughs> they don't know much about it probably. No. Mm -mm. All right, let me explain for everybody. Rosacea is often confused with acne for a good reason. They sort of look mm -hmm. similar, but they're very different. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't gone away for a long time in somebody. Then they should be thinking in the back of their mind, maybe it's actually not acne. And many people treat acne and they're treating the wrong skin condition. So let's clarify that. I used to do that. You used to do I that? I used to do that, yes. I used to use a lot of over-the-counter acne medicine mm -hmm. and cleansers and... and you'd rub harder and harder and mm -hmm. wouldn't come. It used to come back. Yeah. It's the exact wrong thing to do, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who finally told you that it was rosacea? A dermatologist. Well, I'm glad you found one. <laughs> Let's show everybody what you learned. All right. Okay. So this is a picture of fairly mild rosacea. Mm -hmm. So you notice a little bit of sort of a red rosy flush mm -hmm. in the cheeks. It'll, it'll lead over into the nose. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, that whole sort of middle of your face will turn a little bit of a color. But a lot of times it'll become more severe than this. So that's mild. Let's put severe up here. Yes. And severe looks like this. So again, the same basic pattern in the front, but it begins to spread. Looks mm -hmm. a lot like acne. And then you get those little pustules. That's what I have now. I think now it's severe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing about it? Nothing really. Nothing's working? You haven't tried or tried everything? I, mm, the dermatologist gave me some medicine, but I use the cream only. I don't drink the pill because they give you a pill for every day. Mm -hmm. I don't like to take too much medicine. Yeah, some of them have risks. Mm -hmm. When do you notice that it's its worst? What brings it on? What triggers it? Alcohol, stress. I have six kids. Oh. <laughs> so oh my goodness. even the dermatologist told me the same thing. She was like, you have six kids. So that's why I don't... So rosacea can lie dormant in the body, uh, and there are triggers that bring it on. Mm -hmm. You mentioned stress, which is a very big one. I'll give you a bunch of mm -hmm. other things, lists that you probably have wandered into. Alcohol. So hot or spicy food, alcohol you mentioned, mm -hmm. temperature change, extremes, when it gets really cold or really hot, mm -hmm. emotions, with six kids you have them, yes. but stress, anger, you know, embarrassment, the things you actually experience when people stop you on the street that you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, that'll trigger it. And really strenuous exercise, which is good for you in some ways, mm -hmm. will make rosacea worse. Yeah, when I was exercising, I went to the gym for about a couple of months, and I felt like my face was more red yeah. for some reason, but I didn't pay no mind. So there's some obvious ways of treating this, mm -hmm. and your doctor's given you a bunch. Uh, but I want to actually, if I can, talk to you about a very different idea. Okay. The reality is your skin is a mirror to what's going on inside your body. Mm -hmm. So when I see rosacea, I think to myself, is there something else on the inside that I can help with? Not just things you put on top of the face, mm -hmm. but on the inside okay. of your body. So there's something called the gut-skin connection. Have you ever heard of that? Mm, not really, no. Think about this. If you have a sore inside your mouth, mm -hmm. right, that's because your intestines are rejecting you. Those same sores can happen outside your mouth and your face as well. Okay. And we're just beginning to figure this out. Are you taking probiotics or? No, I'm not. You don't, mm -hmm. all right. I'm gonna change your life. I'm gonna show you something that a viewer of our show sent me, mm -hmm. which I think might be helpful to you. Okay. First of all, I want you to think about this. If you're on rosacea, uh, and probiotics might be part of the solution because they can calm your intestines to mm -hmm. allow your face to heal itself. You can either get it in the form of a probiotic okay. or, or as Greek yogurt or something that's fermented. Mm -hmm. Any fermented food will have some of it. And adding that bacteria to you got the right bacteria might just be the trick. And I'll give you this evidence. This young woman sent us her, an image. This is mm -hmm. her before she started taking probiotics. Do you see her picture? Yeah. Right. Does that look a little bit like how yours mm -hmm. can be? She started taking the probiotics, and within a week, look at what her face began to look like, and it's cleared oh, up wow. now. And now she's a year and a half out, and it has worked for her oh, remarkably. Yes. So at least it's easy to try. Who knows if it's gonna work for you? And it's better than drinking antibiotics every day. Yeah, I would give That's it a shot. Yeah. I think it's one of the big takeaways today. So in the meantime, to minimize the redness in your mm -hmm. face, come on over here. Dermatologist Jeanine Downey's here, who I think is wonderful at this. Jeanine, thanks for joining us. Yep. Why are some folks more susceptible to rosacea than others? Okay, Dr. Oz, it's family history, it's sun, and it's stress. Those are the three main things. Mm -hmm. And then there's these little mites that live down deep in our hair follicles called demodex mites. And some people are more susceptible and have more angry cases of rosacea due to those mites in part. There's a huge skin-gut connection. I agree with everything you're saying over there. Stress, definitely. Yeah. The, the, and uh, the sun in the summer. Yeah, the skin texture, does it matter much? 
Uh, basically, light-skinned people, you see it more, but you can see it in anybody. You see it in African Americans, it does not matter, but it shows up more mm -hmm. in light-skinned people, and people insert themselves into your life and tell you what you can do to make it better. But it's the texture of your skin that gets worse and worse over time, mm -hmm. unfortunately, from the rosacea when it's left untreated, so it must be treated. So here are some recommendations. Dr. Danny says an oil-free sunblock, SPF right. 30 or more, is probably a very smart approach. Why is that so critical? It's critical because SPF 30 is like the bottom of what works. It's nine, it covers 96.5% protection from the sun's rays. And oil-free is a necessity because a lot of people with rosacea wind up also getting acne. So it's mm -hmm. pretty critical that you use oil-free. In addition to that, there's topical products. There's metronidazole creams that right. you can put on your face. Mm -hmm. There's azelaic acids like finacea you can put on your face. There's something new called Merveso that you put on your face and it makes your skin go white for 12 hours, but it wears off. Yeah. That's called Mervaso. It's a neat treatment, but it's a 12 hour temporary fix. Then there's That's oral awesome. antibiotics, which you're already on. Mm -hmm. And then quite frankly, obviously, you know, there's the lasers. Mm -hmm. So if you want to just cover up so you can go out and enjoy the day, you right. recommend green makeup. I, I, I I'm do. a guy. So I don't know much about makeup in general, but I've never <laughs> heard of makeup, green makeup. It makes it's me okay. feel itchy for some yeah. reason. It's okay. <laughs> so this, what's cool about green makeup and green-based concealers is the green actually is covering the red. It's something people don't oh. think of. Women paint on the makeup. They make it their skin tone. They're not paying attention to the fact that if you use a green-based foundation, it's available over the counter in any pharmacy and in lots of supermarkets too, quite frankly. So it's available to anybody and it really helps to block the red. I so I suggest that. you try this yes. too for camouflage while you're will. taking your probiotic, while you're using your sunscreen, while you're using some of the other things. Okay. okay. I, know, I know it's hard to come on and talk about this stuff, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of people who are looking at you and thinking that's me. And you can help mm -hmm. them all. Thanks yes. very much. Thank you. All Thank right. you. We've got a rosacea fact sheet on DrOz.com. Be right back. Red Theme Day continues with a red hot workout for anybody who wants to blast that fat fast. From hip hop to salsa, it's a February fitness showdown. Dance your way to weight loss success and have a whole lot of fun doing it. Next. Whoever said a doctor's visit isn't fun has obviously never been to the Dr. Oz show. Is that right? Make your appointment today. Go to DrOz.com slash tickets and sign up for free tickets. This February on the Dr. Oz Show. Heart disease. You have the power to beat it. Put a little love in your heart. Put a little love in your heart. All month long, the ultimate guide to heart health. Feel young and energetic. Be there for your family. Stay active for your kids. You control your health. You control your destiny. The power to save your heart is in your hands. All this February on the Dr. Oz Show. This month, I'm featuring a segment to help you reach your fitness goals. So today, the Red Hot Workout to blast the fat in just 10 minutes. And who better to help out than the fabulous fat-biting couple, Billy Blanks Jr. and Sherry Patrick <laughs> Blanks. So Billy, how's this 10 minute workout gonna blast away fat? So we're gonna do all styles of dance to work all different parts of the body, but we're also gonna do little intervals of high intensity cardio so that you have a longer afterburn after the workout. And Sharon, all the women out there who want to get rid of the fat, but they don't want to go to the gym. What's your advice? Well, I love this question because as women, we're so hard on ourselves. And so going to the gym can be very intimidating. And I always tell people, if you're going to work out at home, don't think that just because you're choosing something fun that you can't lose weight, burn fat off. You want it to be fun because there's seven days in a week. You want to work out five of those days. Right. So I would prefer you dance. I would prefer you dance with us <laughs> using our DVDs because it's going to be fun and you're going to commit to it and work at your own pace. No You're judgment. at home. There's no judgment. So well, keep going. To speak going. to that, there are a lot of folks who wanted to work out with you. We've got eight members from the audience. Come yes. on out, ladies. Yeah. Join us on. You guys ready to burn some fat? Blast it away? So, so we're also, will you guys stand up? Stand up and dance with us too, all right? right. Yes. Are you ready? Take yes. it away, my friends. Here we go. At home, step touch with us. So we're going to start with a little bit of hip hop, just like this, all right? Row it out. Row it out, just like that. Yes, row it out. You're going to start with hip hop. You got it, yes. Row it out. Come on, if you messed up, who cares? Just like that. Now we're gonna go on to our next one. We call this the B-Boy. Like this, here you go. Step front and front and front. Just like that, yes, B-Boy. You bring your arms back like this. Bring your arms back, you got it. You got it, if you mess up, who cares? You just keep moving, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now the next one, watch this. Patty cake, patty cake. Then go double, 
Yeah. Double. There you go, Dr. Oz. Go bam. bam. And bam. Yeah. That's the slow version. Are you ready to get fast? Bam. Bam. Here we go. Speed it up like this. Here we go. One, two, double. Come on. Come on. Push. That's good, push. Though. Double. Come on. That's come on. Good. Push. You got to put some stank on it. Have fun with it. That's good. Push. Push. All right. Cardio burst. Get ready. Right, right here. Up. Run. Right here. What, oh, what's yes. this for? Right yes. here. This is for your cardio. Yes. This is a cardio burst. A cardio burst. We're going to do two more of these. Don't hold your breath Three. during it. If that's too hard, look. If that's too hard, you Keep sit going. right here. Oh, Billy's got the easy one. Look at Billy over there. <laughs> All right, pump up the music. How long do we do this for? All right, here we go. Yes. Yeah. Next right. one. Now we can go to salsa. Pump up the music a little bit. Yeah. All right, here we go. Shake it. Shake it. All right, now side step, side out. Out. There we go. I can hear it. Push. And push. Side step, just like this. You want right. to get sassy and spicy. Out. Put in those in. hips into out. it. Yes. Out. Yes, work in. and have fun. This has to be perfect. In. Now front to back. Here we go. Front to back. Go front, front. and back. Front. front and back. Yes, Dr. Oz, you got it. Front. Now, if you back. want to get fancy at home, watch this. Turn. Because <laughs> 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 if you want to. I knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah. Now your next one. Watch this. Slow step. Go grapevine. Kick. Kick out. Grapevine. Kick. Yeah, you can kick keep out. it small right there in your steps. There you go. Kick out. Now we're going to speed it up. Only we'll if you want to. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. Yes. Awesome. All right, last one. Shake it. Shake it. Oh. Cardio burst. Hit it. All right. Cardio burst. It's got to be cardio. Yes. Don't hold your breath. Yes. Now, how Don't many seconds? It. It's working. It's working. We got one more coming. Yeah. You want to give awesome, a cardio guys. burst. In your workout, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Go as fast as you can. Remember, if that's too hard, stay right done. here. If that's too hard. All right. I'm doing all Billy's right. next time. I'm doing <laughs> Billy's next time. All right. Next one. We're going to go to Bollywood, all right? You ready to go to Bollywood? Bollywood. Right. Go step. Here we go. One. Two, tap three times. Other side. One, two, tap three times. All right? One, two, yes. Tap three times. You got it. One, two. Now you're going to add the arms like this. Here we go. Two, oh, come on. Bring it around. Oh, yeah. One, two. Now the other turn way. around. Yes. Push. Push. Now we turn Turn around. Way. If you don't want to turn, you don't have to turn. You can stay right there like this. Other way. Bam, bam. Bam, yes. All right, now step touch. Next one, we call this the Bollywood Bounce. Watch this. Six, jump seven, here. Eight. Go jump, jump. One, two, three. Jump, jump. One, two, three. That's it. You got that? One, two, three. Now add some arms like this. One, two, three. Go right. One, two, three. One. Yes. Let's go back into it. Cardio. All right. Cardio burst. This is the last oh, one. Gosh. Make this good. Run. Come on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Run. <laughs> Breathe and smile. I do, Dr. Oz. <laughs> Want to go back to this one? It's really good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm it's really modified. cheating. It's modified. <laughs> Don't cheat. All, All right, right, here we go. go. Pump it up, pump it up. All right, now this one's called Rejoice. We're going to rejoice because we're all done, all right? Here oh, we go. We're done. Just like this. Five, six, five, six, seven, all eight. Up, up, down, up, down. Uh, Reach it up. Now you go here. Yes, reach it up. You're rejoicing. Up. To the right. right. To the left. Now your next one. Watch this. Go kick. 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 Free front. And bring, bring it back. back. Yeah. Kick. 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 That's it. Here we go. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> this is the whole workout site, DrRoz.com. Billy and Sherry have a new 5CD DVD collection. Dance it out. Routines designed for the whole family. Be sure to check it out. I'll be right back. This season, Dr. Oz is bringing healthy back. Are you? We want to know. You inspired me to get back into shape after an injury. I started small, and last month I ran my first marathon. Tell us how you've reclaimed your health on Facebook.com slash Dr. Oz. It promises to help you lose weight fast, but are water pills just draining your wallet? Dr. Oz investigates. It's a dirty little secret. Millions of women use them, but are they safe? Plus... Tennis star Monica Seles. I would just feel terrible about myself. The binge eating disorder that nearly destroyed her health and her career. Was there a binge bottom? All new Oz. 
That's coming up on Monday. It promises to help you lose weight fast, but are water pills just draining your wallet? Dr. Oz investigates. It's a dirty little secret. Millions of women use them, but are they safe? Plus, tennis star Monica Seles. I would just feel terrible about myself. The binge eating disorder that nearly destroyed her health and her career. Was there a binge bottom? All new Oz. That's coming up on Monday. Wear Red Day, so our theme was red to honor Heart Health Month. Speaking of red, I've got to show you a cartoon that reminded me of what happens when you have too much of this, red wine. Here's a snowman, and he's scolding his friend for drinking too much. He says, didn't I warn you about going out and getting plowed? <laughs> it, even funnier, I had to explain to younger members of my staff what plowed meant. They actually don't use that word anymore. I, of course, it means drunk from my generation. I don't know what they call it nowadays. You guys know what they call it? Wasted. They call it wasted, I'm told. All right, it's time for In Case You Missed It. I want you to look around and see that everyone is wearing red. We kicked off the show with a revolutionary study. Really important. You can avoid the risk, rack, the risk factors of heart disease with just a few heart-healthy habits. So short power workouts, turning one glass of wine into four by using a little bit of seltzer, that way you don't have too much of it, standing during TV commercials, which you should do all the time, and get, get rid of cigarettes. These are things that make huge differences, and it's not just about you know, one day coping with it better. I want you to pledge to make these lifestyle changes right now because if you do, you cut your risk of ever developing heart disease or getting the risk factors by up to 92%. You go to DrOz.com for more information. Next, some surprising signs that you may be aging faster than you need to. So I'm gonna do it right now. It's called a one-legged stance. It's a fast and easy test you can all do at home. It can help you determine your brain health and your stroke risk. Studies show that if you can't balance for longer than 20 seconds with your eyes open, you keep your eyes open for this, you may have cerebral small vessel disease. That means the little blood vessels in your brain are beginning to get thickened. They're not working so well, so your brain may be aging prematurely. And Oz Nation, you're gonna to wanna to pass this next tip along to your friends. It's my new red superfood, red peppers. They're great for you for a bunch of reasons. They're good for your skin, all the way down to your bones. And you can show your red peppers a little bit more love by keeping them around all the other good foods you got in your life. You gotta keep them in the refrigerator until you're ready to eat them. They're gonna last about a week. If you do that, if, right, if don't wash them or don't cut them until you're ready to eat them or they'll go bad, you'll lose that crispiness that uh, fresh red peppers have. If you cook them, they're not quite as good, but they're still good for you. And for long-term storage, you can also freeze them. Finally, be careful of dubious people online that make it seem like I endorse their products. I don't. To see a full list of our trusted sponsorship partners, please go to DrOz.com. I'll see you next time. Woo!